Hello everybody. This is an astrological forecast for Pisces for June of 2012. And this also applies if you have a Pisces ascendant. So the big news this month is that Jupiter, your ruler, the planet of good fortune, prosperity, abundance, opportunity, changes sign on June 12th, moves into Gemini into your fourth house and stays there for an entire year until June 25th of 2013. So what's this going to mean for you, Pisces? What it's going to mean is certainly a strong possibility of a move, a relocation. It could be for work. It could be just for pleasure. It could also mean that you begin to travel a lot connected with your work. One way or another, you're going to have itchy feet. You're going to need some change to your surroundings. You might expand the home that you're in. You might, in fact, expand your family. You may have more people living with you than ever before. Also, with Jupiter in that house, Jupiter tends to give you learning experiences. So you may have some learning experiences connected with family and home and the people around you. And you may find that um, you may not have enough space to yourself. You may feel as though there's just too much going on in the home because in Gemini there's always a lot going on and you're trying to juggle lots of different things and knowing you Pisces you're always trying to give to everybody and make a lot of compromises and particularly with Neptune in your sign now in your first house you may not necessarily see what's going on clearly enough and you may be in fact giving too much and not taking care of your own needs but certainly there's a strong possibility of a move of location this particular year. And you may also um, delve into your ancestry, where you've come from, your, your past, um, looking into past experiences, what you can learn from these past experiences so that you can move forward with more freedom. If you've been trying to sell a property, this year you may in fact be lucky. Jupiter brings you that good fortune and also that little bit potentially of extra money need to be careful, however, because you are probably going to be tempted to want to buy a property. And you need to be very careful that you've got enough funds. Jupiter going over the top again, thinking you're overconfident that you can afford something that maybe you can't afford. You need to study it very carefully before you invest hard-earned money or take out a loan in order to buy a property. That isn't to say you can't do it because Jupiter would indicate the possibility of buying somewhere, some real estate, some land, some security in property. That is a, certainly a, po a strong possibility for you this coming year, Pisces. We've got Venus still retrograde in this fourth house for you until the 26th, goes direct on the 27th of this month. So a uh, good time for reconciling, making up with a family member or somebody maybe with whom you've fallen out. A good time for renegotiating a deal or a contract, but not a good time for going into a new deal or into a new situation, especially financially or in a relationship. Still, your finances will be up and down, they'll be erratic, but if you can use that creative energy that Pisces you have so strongly, you should be able to still, it should see you through the leaner times and bring in larger sums of money when the money actually does come in. It just probably will be a little bit erratic. Towards the end of the month, Sun Mercury in your fifth house, so wonderful time for doing something pleasurable, fun, maybe with children, maybe playing some games, but just doing something that gives you pleasure, could be sporty or not, but something where you maybe take a little bit of a risk and you get the adrenaline going and you feel the excitement and the enthusiasm coming back into your life. Mars um, makes a square to Venus at the first week of the month, so possibility of a conflict, uh, particularly in a relationship. Um, could be, it's not the best time, as I said, to start a new relationship. Towards the end of the month, the last week of the month, we've got Pluto opposite the sun in your fifth. So make sure that nobody's um, manipulating you or stopping you doing you, for you from what you really want to do. Um, I have a feeling there may be somebody who's just in your way and you're trying to please them and you're not really ending up doing what's important to you. So don't allow somebody to have power over you 
you decide what you really want to do. And there could be an intense experience with somebody this last week of the month. Make sure you hold your ground. Don't give way and stick up for yourself, Pisces. It's time. So there you have it. I wish you a great month. Thank you very much for commenting, for rating my videos, for getting in touch for readings. I'm always delighted to hear from you. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.